Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here, and today's the day Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1 Final has been released. But oh man, have we been having problems? No one has been able to download the full installer yet because Apple's server network is having some sort of an issue. And as you can see here, the Apple system status page is calling out an Apple software update service issue starting today, right when the full installer was released. So what are you, what are you going to do about that? I've got a couple things to go over to show you what the issue is. And I got a couple workarounds for you until Apple gets the service fixed. Let's jump in and get started. Zero one final was just released today at 12 o'clock central standard time and automatically everybody jumped in and started to download it. And then the report started to come in. Everybody was getting failure messages. They were getting really slow download speeds. So it was a, a complete mess this afternoon. And you can, it's understandable, right? We're, we're talking about possibly millions of people trying to download the brand new operating system. But keep in mind, this is not Apple's first rodeo. They know how to handle this. Something else definitely was going on. Even though 14.1 beta and stuff like that dropped, that's still not enough because think about the millions and millions of users that download iOS all the time when those launch and there's not these kind of issues. So it's something that's happening and we're gonna have to figure out what's going on here. So immediately I've got the web article up talking about the final version. I've got a link in here directly to the App Store download link. So let's click on that and see what happens here. Brings you right to the website, but it also fires up the App Store. It's gonna launch the page to download macOS Big Sur. All we need to do is get, click Get, and it's gonna take us in to the software update and attempt to show the full installer for us to download. And this is what everybody's doing right now. So I'll give it a second to show finding the update. And there we go. Are you sure you want to download Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1? We can click download here and immediately it's going to attempt to download Big Sur and we're going to get an installation failed. And I'm going to show you exactly where it's, the download is failing. We're going to click OK here and it's going to revert back. OK, you notice how I'm still in the a beta seed enrollment program. Now watch it. We can take that off and I'm going to open up terminal here so we can take a look at that. And we'll tab up here and I'll show you that command. It's system library private networks framing or seeding framework versions resources seed util and i'm going to unenroll from the beta seed we'll run that as administrator sudo we'll do space unenroll enter and look we're out of the beta seed so let's go back to the system preferences and this should switch over you see it's checking for updates and this part's going to be removed or it should anyway because we're no longer in there and what 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 it's going to do is then it's going to check to see if we have a combo update or a delta update available and this is the workaround the workaround right now until the full installer issue is fixed is to install one of the beta versions and then use the combo or the delta update to get to the final version here so that and there we go it shows you right here that it says hey there's an update available for you and this is 20b29 the final version so let's click more info so we can see this and there it is the final version of big sur and it's only a 2.21 gigabyte delta update to be able to get up to that version so let's just click it all you gotta do is click install now and you're on the final version and you're done unless you want to do a full erase and install and that's fine we will have to wait until apple servers get fixed and let me show you what the ha what actually is happening Remember how I've told you in the past that we use, that I use Greg Nagel's install, install Mac OS PY. We're going to run that again. And I'm going to show you where the problem is. It's actually on one specific download piece. What this does is it checks the update catalogs and it shows you all the available full installers. And here they are. And look at this. This is our big sir. As you can see, it was released today. Here's the 20B29 and here's the version number. So let's click number three to download that and I'll show you right where the problem is. Immediately it starts to download all the pieces. First piece is the build manifest plist, the info plist, and those downloaded just fine. The problem happens is, is the big install assistant package. And look at that, 403 forbidden. That's the actual issue. And that's why everybody is failing right now because they can't get this file. So until Apple fixes that issue, no one's going anywhere.
what can we do here? Like I said, that's the workaround right now. And I'll actually show it to you in software update service too. Here is the or inspector. Here's the actual downloader. And here's all the pieces that we have to download. It downloaded the build manifest. Okay. The info P list. And this is where it's having a problem. It hasn't even gotten to these pieces yet. So until we can get this piece, it can't put all these pieces together to build the full installer. So at least we have a workaround now. If you really want to jump to the production version, install the beta first, use the combo update to get to the beta after you remove the beta of profile and you're all good. That's a real quick way to get on to the public release until this issue gets fixed. I'll keep you updated and let you know when it's getting fixed. This video created value for you. Click that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video.